So you're a creator looking to make your brand pop and start selling ASAP, or you're a nonprofit, small business ready to pop off on social media, or you're a beginner on a budget that's about to pop looking to cash in with your own online biz. Sounds like Printify Pop-Up was made just for you. Create your custom print-on-demand products and launch instantly with zero fees, sell anywhere, and focus on what matters while we tackle production, fulfillment, and shipping. So how does it work? Simply choose any of our thousand plus products from our catalog, clothing, skincare, supplements, tech accessories, you name it, we've got it. Add your brand, design, logo, pattern, pop-up is your blank canvas and share your store link across social media, email, or messaging apps and reach buyers worldwide. Oh, and speaking of worldwide, Pop-Up is now available in 44 countries across the globe and counting, all with no upfront cost, no subscription or publishing fees, and no hidden charges. Just a risk-free way to sell your products. But let's not just talk. Let me show you step-by-step step why Printify Pop-Up is the perfect solution for you. And of course, I'll share a few extra tips along the way. Let's launch. Once you've created your Printify account, go to Add a New Store in the top left drop-down menu. Find Printify Pop-Up and click Launch Pop-Up Store. Add your store name and right away you'll see your shop link. Select your country of tax residence and agree to the terms and conditions. Click Next to choose a theme for your store. You might see a banner come up at the top of your screen about GPSR. I'll talk about this in a sec, so for now, let's skip and click I don't intend to sell in Europe. Now choose your store theme. If you decide you don't like the theme later on, don't worry, this can be changed at any time. Click Launch Pop-Up Store, and that's it. You just launched your own online shop in less time than it takes to make your morning coffee. Now, if you do intend to sell in Europe, by EU law, you must comply with General Product Safety Regulation, or GPSR. Either click the button in the banner or go to Store Settings in the left menu. Scroll down to the GPSR section and select I intend to sell in Europe. In each listing, we'll provide default contact information to ensure you meet GPSR requirements or you can provide your own information. Save your settings. Next, you'll need to verify your store via Stripe so people can buy your products and you can get paid. In the store settings, find the verification tab. The information you'll need to share depends on your business type but individuals will be required to provide basic personal information like name, address, email, phone number, and tax information. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's get to the fun part and create our very first product. In the left navigation menu, click Catalog to browse all of our products. As my brand name suggests, I'm gonna be selling tech accessories, including phone cases. While we've got tons of phone cases to choose from, I'm gonna start with a known bestseller for my first product. On the product details page, you can see more info about the product, like materials, printing technique, and costs. Let's start designing. Now I'm in the Printify product creator, where the true magic happens. Here you can create your design using any of our free tools, or you can add a design you've already made. If you're creating your design in a different software, click the info button in the top left corner to find all the design requirements and even download templates. I'll drop in a design I've created, adjust it, and change my background color. A quick note, make sure your important design elements, like any text, are within the dashed border. Otherwise, you risk the final print being cut off. To add more product variants, whether that's size, color, or otherwise, click Select Variants. You might have noticed that our print area changed with each model. I'll have to adjust my design slightly for each specific size to make sure it still looks good on my product and nothing gets cut off. Preview what the final item will look like, add a background if you want, 
And when you're happy, save product. In the mock-up library, choose your mock-up photos, upload your own, or buy unique mock-ups from Placeit. Save your selection and add your SEO-optimized product title and description, set your prices, and save it as a draft to edit later or publish to your store. Congrats, you published your first product. Let's see what it looks like in my store. Click on the three dots to the right of the product and see in store. Rinse and repeat these steps to fill out your full collection. Now, I love how my product looks, but I'm not a fan of how my store looks. Let's fix that. Head to store settings and click customize store. This will bring you into the pop-up store builder where you can see a live preview of your homepage. I'll start by uploading our logo here and choose how it'll appear on my site. Note the design requirements in order to have a crisp and professional look throughout your shop. As you make changes, make sure to publish your changes each time by clicking the green button here. Since most shoppers are browsing on their phones these days, be sure to also preview your changes on both desktop and mobile, which you can do towards the top of your screen here. By the way, we are constantly adding to these features, so be sure to check back in for new color palettes and let us know in the comments what colors you'd like to see. Now we can add a cover banner to our shop. This is the perfect place to add custom images and text to better highlight any promotions or announcements for your brand. Again, be sure to follow the recommended size and image tips to showcase your brand at only the highest quality. Add your own custom image or add in banner text right here in the store builder. Publish the changes. When you have multiple products, you'll wanna have a bit more control on how they're displayed across your shop. By clicking the product arrangement button, you can choose which products appear first on your store's homepage. Drag and drop the product cards to rearrange them, or click the three dots on a specific product to move it directly to the top or bottom. And of course, publish your changes. Last, but certainly not least, add your social media links in order to promote your brand. Simply toggle on which accounts you wanna share, paste in your link, and publish. Promoting your products is the most important part of running your pop-up store. If people can't see your products, they can't buy them. Here are the top free and paid strategies you need to start doing right now to drive traffic and make sales. SEO matters. Make sure your product titles and descriptions use relevant keywords your target audience searches for so they can find you organically in search engines. Avoid keyword stuffing and write for how a person would naturally read. And P.S. Our AI-generated listing titles are the perfect starting point. Get active on social media. Chances are that social media will be your biggest traffic driver. Regularly post engaging content on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, wherever your target audience is, and lead them to your shop. Get shoppers from offline, online. Use the power of QR codes to get people to your products, whether at events, retail expos, physical stores, wherever your brand can engage, have your inventory ready without actual inventory. A quick scan of your pop-up QR code will take buyers directly to your product page to finish the purchase. From the My Products page in your Printify account, click the three dots next to the product you want a QR code for. Download promo materials and choose your style. Click print price tag to save the files and print the QR codes, or download an entire marketing pack, which also contains a variety of mockups. Use these along with the QR code to create promotional materials like flyers, posters, and digital ads. Offer incentives and promotions. Drive urgency by creating limited time deals discounted shipping, and more. To set up discounts in your pop-up store, find Promotions in the left menu and click Create Promotion. Choose your promotion type and continue. Set the start and end date, discount amount, promotion title, and confirm and publish. You can edit or delete your promotions at any time. 
Now, if you're ready to invest a bit of cash into promoting your products, work in these additional strategies. Invest in paid advertising campaigns through Google ads, Facebook and Instagram ads, whichever social platform you're engaging in to target specific demographics, interests, and buying behaviors. Partner with content creators, bloggers, or influencers who align with your brand to showcase your products to their established audiences. Don't overcomplicate. It doesn't need to be the biggest, most expensive creator. Smaller creators tend to get more engagement with their audience, and some might even accept samples as payment. If you've got a good budget or really need to put your focus elsewhere in your business, hire a professional to do the marketing for you. Want to see your products in action? From the My Products page, find the green Create Order button and click on Sample. Select the products you'd like to order and fill out your shipping info. Ordering samples of your products is one of the best things you can do for your brand. One, it lets you see the quality of your items so you know you're only offering the very best to your customers. Two, you can use them to take unique mock-up photos to use in your shop, for ads, and across social media. Three, they're perfect for hosting giveaways on social media. And four, remember I mentioned some creators accepting samples as payment? Bingo. And just like that, your branded products are ready for the world to buy with Printify Pop-Up. But this is just the beginning. If you really want to become a top seller, you've got to know all the hidden secrets of your Printify account. 